Thank you. We had a very good discussion today. We're talking about uh, the European Union, the European migration crisis, the European asylum system, uh, European values, but we're still talking about national responsibility. And people coming to Europe are coming to Europe. They're applying to the European Union for international protection. Some countries, we happen to be on the front line. Some other countries are not on the front line. And we are discharging our responsibility. Last year, we issued 106,000 decisions. We're hosting today 54,000 asylum seekers in 39 camps and 4,500 apartments. We need to see now the recognized refugees being served among all member states in a more open way. And so solidarity needs to be mandatory. The return sponsorship is a good idea. The question is, would it work in practice? And why would any member state be better than the collective European Union in achieving returns? Why would any country have more leverage on countries of transit and countries of origin than the European Union together? And then we're talking about countries offering capacity building. I could do it the other way around. We can offer capacity building in other countries to take all the asylum seekers from Greece. Capacity building is something we have. We can do, and I, I'm grateful, by the way, to EASO and Frontex for all the support they have given us. We're getting a lot of support on the ground, and I think we have now good control of the situation. Some people spoke about search and rescue, and critically, and it is fundamental in European values in protecting human life. Search and rescue must be a priority. Having zero loss of lives in the Mediterranean and the Aegean Sea and the Atlantic must be a priority. But we have come to interpret search and rescue as a fast-track asylum system, which is not. Search and rescue is about saving human lives. And Greece has proposed to the previous informal meeting of ministers in Lisbon that Frontex should operate outside the European territorial waters with bilateral agreements or with multilateral agreements with countries of transit. So protecting human life does not mean people get a fast track into asylum. But we need, of course, to have a sense and rescue triggering mechanism to show solidarity, and this triggering mechanism should be similar in all cases of migration crisis. Thank you.